Joshua Willis. How you doing, Mr. Mayor? Good. Thank you guys for letting me have five minutes to come up and um, say my piece. Um, appreciate you, city commissioners and the board, for letting me be able to come here and speak today. <clears throat> I represent SEIU Union. We was in negotiation uh, a couple of weeks ago with the city of Orlando. We was told that the city only had 2% to give per year for three years straight, two, two, and two. Then I turn around and hear that you guys ask for a 21%, even though you corrected that today by saying that you guys should get a 6%. Now, my question is, where is bargaining good faith? Because when you go to the bargaining table, you're supposed to be able to bargain. You put everything on the table, you guys look at it, and you go over it. Well, when we went to the table, we was told that the city only can give a 2% because of the $12 million deficit. There was a gap in between. And we participated um, 2011, 2010, 2011 with giving up a percentage of our raise to try to help out for the um, layoffs that you guys was about to do during that time to soften the blow a little bit. Well, I'm here today to say, well, how are you guys going to ask for a 6% and we've been told that we only can get a 2%, you know, and I'm kind of like uh, Mr. Gray there. Um, I think you guys do an excellent job. I'm not taking that away from you. I think you're a good leader. I think all of you guys up there leading um, divisions, districts are good leaders. I have no problem with that. But when we get a chance to go to the bargaining table, we was told when 2011 that next year will be a better year. We was told this year, maybe next year will be a better year. Maybe, you know, the next contract will be a better contract. Every year we're getting that. And to see you guys come up and say, hey, you know, we are superb, even though you might not be on the same level we're on because you say you gave up so much. We gave up a lot, too. And, yeah, we did do a pay study. And it did bring some people up to where they should be. But at the same time, we still have a lot of people that left behind. So everybody didn't get that. So I don't know where that come from, but everybody did not get an increase. And we're living from day to day also. So my thing is, I feel like in negotiation we were bamboozled because we weren't told that the city can afford to give anybody a 6% increase. We wasn't told that at all. And when we went for the 222, I even made a suggestion, let's get our, if you're going to give us six over three years, we'll take, us, take ours up front. And it was told to me the city only can give a 2% increase per year over a three-year period. And I'm sitting here today, and I'm, see, I'm hearing something different. Ortiz brought it up, and thank you for bringing it up, sir, that he feel like y'all should take a 2% along with the employees. But seeing like today, nobody want to be on the same level as the employees. We do the job. We get out there, we do the Josh, hard work. Josh, were you okay when the city council took 0% when you were getting 3%? Yeah, no I understand that. Were you okay when the city council took 0% and you were getting 4%? I was okay with that, Mayor. Mayor, we negotiated that. Uh -huh. We negotiated that. You could have came right behind us and got a 4%. But we chose during the, the most dire times of the city's finances to take 0%. So and all I'm saying is I'm being a little bit fair to my commissioners. And just by the way, the total cost of the package today mm -hmm. for the commissioners and, and me is about $28,000. Was you aware after 2006 that our members that come into the city of Orlando do not have a retirement plan, do not have benefits? Are you aware of that? I'm aware of all of the working conditions and all of the salaries so, and things that are out there, and I think we do a pretty fair compensation. Oh, you package. guys do a good job. I'm not knocking your job that you're doing. What I am knocking is that you guys saying at this time when y'all telling us, and I'm the chief negotiator for my team, that we don't have the funds, and then when the dust settles, we'll kind of find out it is funds left over that you guys can give yourself a 6% increase. That's all I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. We're going to put apples to apples. Let's play apples to apples. Let's play oranges to oranges. Okay, if you agree that you guys gave up a percentage, that's something you guys agreed to. Okay, that's fine. We agreed to give up one, too. And we did that. Our members voted on it, and we did that also. So we both giving and taking here. This year is a crunch year from us. That's what we was told. Had we not been told that, I wouldn't have a problem with it. This is your as a crunch year and the four years prior when this council took zero, 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 so they've had one increase in the last five years. And I understand that. And you know, when I came back and said I wanted more than 2%, you know what they told me? You got a job. 
They said what? You got a job. Be glad you got a job. We got a job. So Okay, well, I, I disagree with you, Josh. I think we've been fair with you. I get that you don't want to be fair with the council, but that's fine, too. Okay. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Mm -mm.